In our society, melodrama is loved in any and every form. We all enjoy a movie which shows the actor being strong, the actress being coy and waiting to be approved and appreciated by the actor who is out there somewhere busy fighting some goons. We absent-mindedly watch cinema and go back home with same old cliché stories. But now the Nepali film industry is changing. If we have movies like Dreams or Nine of Hanula which glorify stalking, forcing, action of the actor, the concept of idol women etc we also have movies like kalo poti or prasad which are progressive and build their stories and characters based on reality as much as possible one such movie is the breakup directed produced and written by mr hemraj bc the story revolves around avishkar played by ashirman joshi and sara played by shilpa maski heading towards australia on their respective journeys meeting each other halfway and falling in love The plot may sound old and boring but the representation of the lead female character and other women is realistic. Sara played by Shilpa Maski is a young girl who works as a chef and wants to go on a world tour. In her introduction scene she is shown discussing the same with her parents. She tells them that it is her decision and she is just informing them not seeking their permission. Her character is rather practical and emotionally strong. On the other hand, Avishkar is a young man who owns a paragliding company in Pokhara with his cousin Biraj played by Raven Das Shrisht. Avishkar is an emotional person who too decides to go abroad after his breakup. Avishkar and Sara become friends and start spending time together. Avishkar falls in love with Sara and proposes her but she says no. I have feelings for you too. I'm madly in love with you, Sara. Look, Avishkar, I think you got this all wrong. My little girl, you're my. My little girl, you're my sati. You're so good at it, Kuchu. Sara's character is portrayed as bold and modern. She is shown to be okay with hookups, like any other girl in this era could be. She is not shown wearing pretty suits or flowy dresses. Her costumes are casual: jeans, t-shirts, sneakers, etc. She is not portrayed as the idle woman who does only moral or ethical things. She is normalized by showing her drinking, fighting, and standing up for herself whenever and wherever required. Focusing on the females of the movie, Sara's cousin Maya, played by Ichha Karki's character, is also strong and realistic. She is shown. as a very straightforward person who doesn't shy away from confronting biraj about her doubts as they are getting married when looking at a movie from a feminist perspective it is necessary to talk about representation of toxic masculinity and patriarchy this movie crushes both the lead actor is shown crying and expressing his feelings multiple times openly in a scene where avishkar tells sara about his parents divorce and his mother's extramarital affair she is quick to tell him that it was her choice and it was better than staying forcefully with his father she also tells him that had his father done this not his mother no one would have had an issue with it and he accepts it eventually she ends things with him but he again is shown hurt like a normal guy rather than angry or revengeful both the lead's parents are also shown to be understanding except for this one scene where the word hunting is used by biraj for getting girls nowhere in the entire movie has any female character been degraded or stereotyped although the ending lake storm scene brought about some really bad vfx skills the movie is something that the audience can relate to and see happening in real life as well as in real life